I'm going to be opening this old-fashioned 1980s window alarm for the first time. I got this at a yard sale in a box of stuff. It says that it was on sale for $1, and that would be 95% off from its original price. Now, and the reason I know this is from the 80s is because the store there on the price tag, Jefferson Ward, is an old store that went out of business in the mid-1980s. That's why I know this is from then, because this is when they were going out of business. You can see that's almost half price off, eleven ninety-seven. Then they marked down again. It's so old, I can't get that one off. That's probably another price but this allows you to hook this onto a window and you can lift the window nine inches at night to let air in but if a burglar was to open it more than nine inches it would set this alarm off N new window alarms are small like this but this one's big so I'm wondering if it's going to be loud it takes a nine volt battery See instructions on it. Shows you how to set it up. It says there's actually two ways of doing it. You can do the slide part on a window, sliding back and forth, or a vertical window. But it's, that would just involve two of these. You can also wire it to multiple windows as shown in this picture what it says down here could that possibly be when it was manufactured August 1980 I'm not sure what that means possibly because this is from the early 80s because the store went out of business I'm gonna look up when did that store go out of business Hey, yes, I looked it up. Jefferson Ward closed its stores November 1st, 1985, officially. It says that it had 26 remaining stores. Most of them were in Florida and Virginia at the time. Okay, I'm going to open this up and put some batteries in it. I'm going to shut the camera off for I can open this neatly. I just got a battery and I took it out. The glue from over the years, this glue is no longer sticky. So I'm going to have to use some actual glue instead of that sticker thing it comes with. Put the battery in. And it has these prongs that line up in the it doesn't even go into a socket it just kind of sticks into these springs wherever I'm gonna put this back together okay I I, I just tested it and, and it it's not really louder than the new ones but it the sound is different this thing unlike the new ones has a super high pitch noise, the kind of noise that would bother any kind of animal. This thing, it, this thing made my ears hurt just listening to it. But unlike the new ones, the new ones when you close the window, it shut off, shuts off right away. This one, when you shut the window, it keeps going for 15 seconds until it resets. It uh, just, just listen to this noise. That, it's. Probably worse than it is on the camera, but that is bad. That hurts your ears. It's just an awful kind of noise. Well, it's going to do this for 15 seconds. It says in the operating instructions. Yeah, it says... 
alarm for approximately 15 seconds, then they will set, allow at least 30 seconds. Well, 30 seconds. As you heard, it made like a little different noise at the end. But I'm going to show you what a new one does, just for you can see how a new one, the sound is much more different. Here, this one here. Put the alarm on. Okay, that's much different. So, here I can put one of these on the window slide, and you see it used to have glue where you could just stick it to the window, but it's junk now. It also has a screwing op screwing option there, but I could just use a temporary glue for the window doesn't get wrecked. But I was impressed how the switching is. Back then they actually had nice wires going to it. And uh, back then it actually says it was made in the USA. Thanks for watching.